Libra, welcome to your reading. This is for 10 till 16 May, general reading. Obviously, whenever you look at it, it's the right time for you to see it. With me, Adrian Nelson, welcome to my channel. Um, this is a general reading for Twin Flame Love, so please take it as it resonates. If you'd like to have a focus on your personal energy, you can always book a personal reading with me. My email address is down below in the description. So we're going to ask very specific questions from the tarot for this reading. Um, what is it you want to know, need to let go of, need to release. We're going to really focus on that and then end off with a good message for you as well from the good tarot or what positive messages that the universe would like to share with you, regardless of really what comes through in the reading. I'm just first of all going to draw for you a card from the Guardian Angel Energy. Okay, a couple of them came out. I'm going to take the one that came out on top. All right. And what is the Ten of Raphael? Amazing. So Ten is about cycles ending. It's about new beginnings. Raphael's also the angel of healing. You know, it's also the angel of new beginnings. Um, it's the angel that helps us to overcome heartache and, and pain and things that were holding us back in life. Um, so after you've maybe done some release, Libra, this is the energy that helps you to sort of really get back on track again in a healthy way that serves you in abundantly positive ways. Um, improvement of health um, mentally, physically, emotionally, all those things that just really makes our heart smile. Okay. Of course, if you do have any sort of health problems or mental issues or anything like that, please always see a, you know, a qualified professional as well. All right. Um, it says, oh, what a message. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious re relationships with family members and happily ever after. So, very nice. And this is also a space where this would normally be the Ten of Cups for you, which is that beautiful family life. Um, you know, the desires of your heart, the way that you'd like to experience your life, Libra. Um, so I'm almost, you know, I, I wish I, I could actually just stop the reading over there because it's so good, you know. I'm like, I, I don't want to see anything else. It is just so good. But let's see what else we have for you. Also, if you are on a cusp, if you look at the reading, I always recommend that you look at both readings to get a better message. With this reading specifically pertaining to love, um, uh, and I feel for many of you, especially with my ear, that the way that it is going at the moment, um, it's a sense of letting go. You're letting go of the toxic talk very much for you in your life. But, um, you know, look at your Venus placement where it is in your chart. Maybe look at that reading as well. Um, maybe if there's communication problems, look at your Mercury. And if you don't know where your placements are, there's a link down below in the description that says prenatal chart. You can have a look at that and it shows to you where those placements are. It also gives you very beautiful sort of descriptions of what that actually means for you. And there is also a link in the description if you are interested in learning how to read the tarot. I've got an online tarot course that you can learn that from as well. Okay. Not yet? Okay. It's okay. All right, let's see what we have for you. So there's a couple of cards in reverse here for what it is that you, you know, what it is that you sort of want to know. We've got the Seven of Swords, the Justice card, and the Four of Swords, and they're all in reverse, okay? Um, all in the defense position, basically, what we call them. So, um, first of all, for many of you, there are some fights that you had in the past, I don't feel you're being very much in the energy of love, in the energy of yourself at the moment, actually. You know, there's some fights that some of you may have had in the past, some arguments, and it's almost like you're picking that up again. Um, you know, so maybe some things that you decided to move away from, um, some people that you needed to move away from, and it's almost like that energy sneaking back into your life again, you know, so the little things that you thought you let go of that, you thought you let go of that, you believe you let go of that, and somehow, you know, we have those things that remind us again of a person, or, you know, maybe with, you're with someone, and you decided, okay, you're going to make this work, but, you know, there are those little things that, that, that has the habit of reminding us, or, you know, of how things were in the past, and, and what happened, and, you know, what brought you to a certain point, so I feel for you that, you know, there are really some unresolved issues that need to be dealt with here, 
okay because you're not in your energy at the moment you're not in your flow at the moment um, maybe your health is being affected by this your sense of judgment is being affected by this other areas of your life might be affected by this and um, you are in the space where you are I feel just very close to, to sort of like the um, it's almost like being close off to the things in life that can actually work well for you, the emotions, the energies, the flow, um, even people, you know, there's many things in your life that might suffer as a result of this. For those of you that are already in a connection, you know, in a connection especially that you appreciate, this space can actually cause many disruption for you in your life. And I'm going to be very honest with you, the space where you are in at the moment, um, if there's certain things that you haven't dealt with, haven't spoken about, then those things are are coming back this is not a space to suffer in silence because suffering in silence could make you lose everything that you hold dear to your heart so suffering in silence is most certainly not um, uh, um, you know recommended for you where you are at the moment the because remember the inner turmoil and the imbalance that you feel on the outside will eventually reflect out you on the outside and with you Libra having that very honest energy really um, if there is a, you know a sort of like a storm going on on the inside even if you try to not let others see that they won't be able to miss it because you are too honest um, in you know because remember you've got a very balanced fair sort of energy and also for those of those, you that don't know maybe cross watchers you know the Libra energy is all about sort of like including others the benefit of others um, the beautiful balance in the world um, everybody having the best sort of you know experience in life and living in the best way that they possibly can but you cannot give that to others if you don't have that within yourself. In actual fact, I feel that some of you may be in a space where you really getting into horrendous fights with people that are very close to you, maybe like your family, you know, or your friends and other people close to you. And, you know, you might be shouting and screaming and really going at these people or, or this person. And afterwards you go to yourself, why did I do that? You know, it is the outer world that is reflecting onto the on, on to the outside okay let's clarify that for you let's see for you what's happening over there Libra but of an indecisive energy over there yeah so you have got the king of swords in reverse you've got the eight of wands and you've also got the justice card there in the upright position okay um, so first and foremost um, some of you have just totally given your power away, completely given your power away, um, where you know what is the right thing to do, you know what you have to do, you know what it is that you are meant to do, you know what is the best thing to do, but um, it's, you know, I don't mean this as a judgment and it might not be how you're seeing it, but this is you passing the buck. Let them deal with it. I'm not going to deal with this. I don't have the energy for this. I don't have the strength for this. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to do this. Mm -mm. Okay, but um, so some of you are really giving your energy away, you're giving your strength away, you're giving your power away. It's not even being taken from you, you are giving it away. Okay, and I'm going to have to draw another one to clarify just that there for me. The Justice card with the Eight of Wands. The Justice card in reverse. The High Priestess. Um, there's beautiful emotional balance available. The Sun. So there's a beautiful, you know, the moment that you can take your energy back. The moment you can take your power back. The moment you can... It's almost like standing up for yourself, to yourself, because I feel for some of you, you've gone into the space where you just kind of convince yourself, you know what, this is the best thing to do. Let the chips fall where they may, you know, um, sort of like, okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. Doesn't matter, this is what's happening in the world. In any case, I've really been trying, but it hasn't been working, so I'm just giving up. But you the one that is suffering greatly as a result of that and on the other end of that there is there, there's there's beauty available for you such beauty available for you this is a very strong you know um 
call for you to really kind of pull yourself towards yourself, you know, um, to, to really take responsibility for your experience of life, because I feel you're very much totally out of sync over here, you know. Um, there's almost like that sense of when you look, for example, there's a car that's looking at me, I don't know what it is because it's upside down. What is it? Grace and gratitude through gratitude, joy expands. Nobody else got this extra card in their reading, but this is what you got. Focus on the things that are actually working for you. Let's just see if I draw another card for that. What is that about? Six of Cups. This is calling you to do the inner forgiveness, to forgive yourself for the times that you didn't know better. Okay, so this beautiful connection that we spoke about in the beginning of your reading, this beautiful connection is available for you. But in order for you to experience the beauty of that connection, you have to find the inner alignment within yourself. Because until you find that inner alignment with yourself, you can't experience this beautiful space that is available for you. Okay, um, remember life sort of flows to you and through you and it may not feel that way for many of you at the moment, but a lot of the um, desires that you have inside your heart, a lot of the ways that you'd like to experience your life and love and a connection and stability and relationship and marriage and new beginnings and all those wonderful things, it is so available to you, but you are the one that's holding yourself in bondage here. Okay. Let's see what we've got. What is it that you need to let go of? Let's see what we've got for that. Heavy dice, heavy dice, heavy dice, heavy dice. Okay. So we, I thought that wanted to come out and now it went back inside. So we've got for you the seven of cups, the page of cups and the three of pentacles. Okay. Energy that you need to let go of. So there were some disappointments. Some of you are, and you really want to look at yourself if this is speaking to you, Libra, because this is very much the direct opposite of who you are. Some of you are focusing on um, almost like the, the weaknesses of others, the, 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 the things that, um, that they are doing wrong. You know, and I mean, we obviously as human beings, you know, none of us are really perfect in somebody else's eyes. So there's always, um, you know, something in a sense that might be holding you back. Give me just one second, please. Thank you. So some of you have seen the truth about someone and you were like, this is not what I signed up for. This is not the kind of person that I signed up for. This is not the kind of energy that I signed up for. I thought that you were a different person. But here's the thing though, and this is coming through for you quite strongly. Have you ever considered that maybe when another person looks at you, they also had a very different opinion of you? They also might be thinking this is not what I signed up for. They may be thinking that they didn't really imagine that this is who you are. So it can actually go both ways as well, you know, um, for you. Because, first of all, I see you being ready for love, and I see you having so much to give, okay? Um, I see you having such beauty to give. I see you have such be having such beautiful intentions for a relationship. And, you know, that sort of, um, sort of like conflict that you might be um, experiencing, if you can actually consider that that might be coming from from you and not from the other person, because I see that some of you are almost holding a person accountable and this might even be it might be a new connection but it might even be somebody that you not that you're not even you know in a romantic relationship with they just sort of like a punching bag for somebody else's mistakes this could be like a sibling you know or a friend where um, you almost it's almost like you you directing anger at them but it is anger that you're actually feeling for a different person you know for other connection which is really, you're not in your energy because this is not you, Libra. This is 100% not you. Okay, let's, um, I want to first of all clarify just that Six of Cups. They should, I should use a different deck. I'm going to use this one over here. So the Six of Cups that we got for this and for this Grace and Gratitude card that very sort of unexpectedly came out there for you. Let's see, what do we have there for clarifiers, please? Because uh, it's, it's, okay. 
So we got the six of cups, uh, sorry, the six of swords, my apologies. The unwillingness to cooperate. You may say that you're willing, but I don't see that, okay? Um, the two of wands, um, the knight of um, pentacles, and also the three of swords. Some of you say that you're in a new space. You say that you're ready to move forward. You're saying it, but you're not really there, okay? Um, because you're still holding on to things. Another card, okay? Shall be done. Shall be done, 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 done. Okay, but those are four or five cards. That's not going to happen. Done, done, done. I realize that there's lots to say for you, but if we can have one card, please. What is, I'm going to take the one on top. Who are you? This is the, um, what do you call this? How can I forget this? One second for me, I'm sorry. I don't even believe that I can forget the name of a card, but I did, strangely. It's weird. I've been doing tarot for 20 years and now I'm forgetting what a card is. Suppose it happens. Um, let's just see, where is that? This is such a weird thing to happen. This, this, this is not the sort of thing that would happen to me. It's, it's weird. But obviously, you know, sometimes if I do a reading for you, I also pick up on your energy, you know. Um, I can't believe this. I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. The, the strength card. Literally, I couldn't remember that. It's so amazing. The strength card. Okay. Um, and for me, what this also says is that it's that it's almost like you like you realize that you have to do the inner work, but you're still sort of trying to almost find like like almost like to reason yourself out of what needs to be done. Okay. Let's clarify for you this card that I did draw for you. There's a card that flipped around. There's all sort of weird things that are happening in your reading over here. I saw the card flipped around. Okay, it, uh, the devil. I wanted to put it back in the deck and it just sort of came out. So the devil, the three of wands and the eight of swords. And at the bottom of the deck, you've got the nine of pentacles. So again, there is you're holding yourself back here. You know, um, I feel that you might be blaming many other people for where you are right now. This is weird. This is a twin flame reading. I'm not even seeing love. The, well, this is the first sign I'm getting off love, actually, with the three of wands. So you are where you're meant to be, but some of you feel that you are 100% not. You're feeling very trapped in where you are right now. Um, let's just get another card for that. So you are feeling very trapped in where you are right now, but in many ways you are, you are the one that's really holding yourself trapped over here. And um, Six of Swords kind of went on its side over there. Um, I feel that for some of you, you are saying, you know what, I've suffered so much in my life already that, um, and I think I previously said that also, that why should I be the one to, you know, to have to compromise? They should meet me at my level. I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. But that is sort of what's holding you back. Okay. Let's look at what it is that you need to release, Libra. Using the Deviant Moon Tarot, beautiful deck of cards that were given to me by a client. And in actual fact, these beautiful cards with this imagery that you're looking at was given to me by a wonderful friend of mine who is also a Libra. Okay. Um, so it definitely carries that Libra energy as well. So you have got the, again, this is the third time in this reading, the, the third time? Yeah, the third time in this reading that you are getting the Six of Swords. Um, so it's very much an unwillingness to cooperate, okay, to sort of compromise. Um, so you've got the Six of Swords, the, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. So if you can, you know, oh, and there it's falling to the floor even, it's, it's almost like there's a beautiful connection here available for you, but it's, it's literally like you're going, you know, like, no, 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 type of thing, you know. Um, and you know this. It's not like I'm telling you news over here. You know that this is you holding yourself back. Uh, they say I must draw you another two cards. I feel such an influx of energy. It's almost like a bubble that's about to burst. Let's take the one from the top of the deck and the bottom of the deck. Two of Wands and the Judgment card. Again, that's your energy. Well, not 100%, but you, but you get where I'm going with that. Um, before you move anywhere, 
before you physically move, before you move away from someone, before you move in with anyone, before you do any of those things, I will strongly recommend, um, Libra, that you really take a moment and really honestly look at the choices that you are making, and I'm not trying to judge you at all, but make sure that your choices are not coming from a point of fear, okay? Not running away. Just going to draw you one more card for the Justice card. What do we have? Um, the Hermit. This is a lack of trust that if you go forward that what you need is going to be there for you. But as we said very much in the beginning, it's a healing space because this, this beautiful divine connection, what everything that you want, all your heart's desires is available to you. It's just that for many of you, you not 100% a match for it in alignment with it at the moment and it's you holding yourself from it. Okay. And, you know, if you'd like some universal support with that claim that willing to get yourself out of there, I encourage you to place your hand on the heart, welcome the angels to assist you, take in a deep breath and say, open my heart, mind and soul to assistance so that you can get yourself out of this funky space that you are in at the moment. Okay. Um, let's just draw you a card from the Good Tarot to see what it is that, that we've got for you. The Three of Water, which is the Three of Cups. What a wonderful message. You are, it may not be feeling this way at the moment, but you are aligning with your soul family. You are aligning with the greatest good. You are aligning with a beautiful connection. There's a card sticking out. What is it saying? Oh, another three, the Empress. Um, this is a space where there's beautiful abundance available for you. Oh, come on, guys. And also the Tower. This is a space where you are actually busy letting go. This is a space of releasing the past and moving into a, a, a beautiful connection where you currently are. But for some of you, it's like you're not, it's almost like you're not trusting the connection, trusting the universe, trusting that you will be met. There's a deep inner cleaning. I'm sending you lots of love and light because it is a difficult space to be in. But um, also look at this um, card looking at me right over here, literally the four of swords. This is you moving into your energy. Okay. And um, I hope that helps you, Libra. I hope it's, um, that it assists you. Um, if it resonates with you, if you need some support, you know, obviously you can book a reading with me. But also thank you so much for the beautiful connection. Or the beautiful, sorry, um, the connection that we're making. You watching my video, I appreciate that so much. Um, words can't even describe how much I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the donations that you're making because it's helping me to do what I love to do, which is helping other people, you know. Um, I would really appreciate you liking the video, commenting, sharing, subscribing, hit that notification bell, and um, open your heart to love. I'll see you next week.